many experiences uh, coming all together in the team of uh, metamorphosis uh, has brought yours, uh, speaking more from the uh, level uh, and from the side of architecture. Mm -hmm. So could we please dive into that uh, matter and why is this uh, important to you? Mm -hmm. Well, first off. first off, well, thank you. <laughs> first off, um, architecture is important to me because I'm an architect, but that's a very mm -hmm. silly answer, so I hope you cut that or not. No. But <laughs> I was just trying to be funny, and I'm not. Um, but um, very often, uh, we think that um, architecture or construction um, is not necessarily as important in some of the issues that are very relevant today. Mm -hmm. Um, and it turns out that they are very important and we should be w aware of that and try to, you know, have our own contribution as architects. Mm -hmm. So for me, the, the change, the metamorphosis, as you will, is to, um, to really be able to use uh, traditional techniques, to use our knowledge and mm -hmm. change the way things are mm -hmm. being done. So use that for transformation, use architecture for it's transformation. It's a good layer that it, brought the, uh, it brings the, uh, the, uh, the attention towards the fact that change implies something new, but something old as well, so bringing them all, uh, all together. Exactly, we don't need to reinvent the wheel every time, and very often it's good to mm -hmm. take inspiration from the existing and see how that can be improved, or how that could be contribute mm -hmm. thing to doing uh, things. Can we take something uh, from your experience uh, and something that was a, a major point uh, or a moment of change that could go well uh, hand in hand with uh, what the metamor metamorphosis means uh, and draw from there some key elements that we could watch out uh, because they do trigger change or they do announce uh, some major change for, for somebody's life out there? Wow, that's a very difficult question, <laughs> but, a, but a nice question. Um, we're working it out. We're working, well, working it out. Wow, you really caught me on that one. So I can't really um, pinpoint a moment in time that I would say, okay, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is a drastic change. This is something different. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good thing because but it's, you know, like... It always works. To, exactly. Yeah. It always works towards something. And I guess you can always look back and say, Okay, well, I guess this was a decisive moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'd give a funny example and I'd say, for me personally, maybe um, 10 years ago, um, I was still studying architecture mm -hmm. and I decided to join this, um, this group that was uh, building a car, a solar car. Um, now I'm an architect, I have nothing to do with any of this stuff um, and probably I was out of my depth in that project, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, but the point is I got then to work with um, a lot of different students at the time from mm -hmm. different disciplines uh, and you get to see a lot of different points of view and you get to be aware of these things and I think that was a very definite change in my thinking mm -hmm. because you step outside of your bubble to see what other bubbles are thinking um, and to see how you could connect those back to your own, um, to your own profession. Uh, and that's a major learning point. Mm -hmm. And I think it, if I think back on every single other thing that has uh, really turned out successfully or into a change, mm -hmm. I think it always had this um, collaborative and multidisciplinary aspect to it. Actually, what I presented today is the same. Um, you need a lot of different experts to be able to reach that. You can't, you can't be a one-man show. You need material experts. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. need uh, structural engineers. You, you need a lot of different aspects of things. And they all think differently and they all come from different angles. So I would say the important part or the telltale sign of being able to do these things is being confronted with the other or a difference mm -hmm. than your own bubble and being open to hearing that and seeing how you can interpret it through your own lens. That was a long okay, ass okay. answer. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you for that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll do, uh, uh, we'll do uh, as follows. Is there any, uh, anything that happened to you recently uh, as, a, um, a, as an effect of the fact that you were uh, here today, uh, you were uh, getting yourself prepared for this? So how, how was TEDx, uh, how, how TEDx put its, you know, like fingerprint on uh, mm -hmm. something that you think now, you feel, you... 
Okay. Yeah. Well, um, TEDx Bucharest has been fantastic so far. I missed quite a lot of the talks because if you're the last one amongst the last to speak, then you are spending most of your time being nervous <laughs> than <laughs> listening to others. So I didn't take my advice on that one. Clock ticking. It's clock ticking, <laughs> click, clack. Oh, oh no, it's me. But um, no, it's been fantastic so far. It's been inspiring, especially because of this, because you have uh, different uh, people from different fields talking about so many interesting things. Um, I think the important part or how it helps is um, you have to be able to uh, distill your ideas um, into something uh, simple that everybody uh, that's also not a specialist in the field can understand and mm -hmm. get those ideas from. And that is not always as easy as it sounds. So yeah, being yeah. able to uh, like explain something to your grandmother and that mm -hmm. your grandmother kind of goes like, okay, I get it. That's, that's quite something, and I think TEDx and TED in general brings this quite a lot. It mm -hmm. makes sure that those ideas can be spread, especially because it makes it understandable. Usually we talk in our own terms. It's uh, about uh, moments that are thought-provoking, and thank you for uh, being part of what happened this year. Uh, thank you. Here's a challenge. Uh, to to, to break it down, yeah, to break it down to uh, simple and simple and simpler uh, uh, things. Um, as we do with TEDx Bucharest, we've chosen the theme of metamorphosis, mm -hmm. and we've channeled uh, your experiences and, and your uh, your shares to it. Uh, what if we were to choose a theme, one word or just a couple of words that best describe you? Ooh. Um. You promised a challenge and, and, and say, you delivered. When I, say, when I say we, I say actually you. <laughs> How would I best describe yeah. myself in three words? Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's, um, that's a difficult one. That is an incredible. We can choose difficult. them now and if, uh, if you are to choose them now, so if you haven't, uh, you know, like uh, revolved around some, some, some words, some ideas recently, I think uh, if, the, if this springs out now, I think there's a lot nice of value. One. Yeah, there's a lot okay. of value around it. Well, it's not really related. To, well, maybe it is, um, but um, I would, and I don't like that term, so I'll find a different one, but I'll explain it. It's mm -hmm. a sort of world citizen that you kind of uh, have a fluid identity, and I think the, the event here also um, says mm -hmm. that, that you're kind of, I mean, you're Romanian, and you're not Romanian, and we're all the same, and we're all people, so somehow I, mm -hmm. I don't know what the word for that is. Part of something larger. But just being... Um, yeah, be, uh, being part of something larger is, mm -hmm. it's just, uh, it's kind of somebody that loses their identity to gain their identity, I don't mm -hmm. know, but just gain a different identity. And I think, um, but I don't know what the word for that is. Mm -hmm. I can't explain okay, it. Okay, but so you feel this around your, yeah. your, your, your life now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, feel, uh, I feel that. I feel that uh, you don't belong in any particular, that's it. Uh, you don't belong in any specific particular place, but it's not that you don't belong. Don't belong. Okay. So you, b but you belong everywhere. So you belong nowhere and belong everywhere. So I think that's the, for me, that's the thing now. Thanks for uh, for the fact that in the past days you belonged to uh, what happened here and you've shared uh, your uh, your thoughts with uh, with us. And thanks Thank for you. your time now. Thank you very much. As well.